Good morning. Um, we've got the small tyres on bullet truck. We've just driven up the up the highway about an hour to a local place we we come and play. And um, it was actually nice. It drove well. We've uh, we've spent a lot of time getting things done since Willow Glen. Uh, all new brakes overhauled. Uh, I don't know how I don't know how they stopped before. But they were like look like we pulled them out of the bottom of the ocean. But the main, the main modification we're here to test is the leaf springs. We've made 20 odd mil longer top leaf. And we just, I just wanted to come out and play, have a play before we take it on any you know, big, big adventures which we've got planned. Um, I can already tell that there's, there's a bit more up travel. That spring's really flat now looking at that shackle angle. And the droop, I'm not sure if that tire's still got a bit to go down, but it's definitely, I think we've got it right with the measurements. We've got the new ladder bar in there set up. Well, it's the old ladder bar modified. And uh, we'll just see how we go today. I think one thing I noticed on the highways, I've just got to adjust the brakes quickly. Uh, we, we bled them before I left. So we'll air down now. I'll quickly adjust, adjust the brakes. I've had to modify a bit of a putty knife because with the flip plates you can't actually get a screwdriver in there to 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 hit the adjuster so I'm interested to see how she goes today so for today for this morning's little adventure I'm just gonna go down to about 17 there's uh, there's not really much hard that I've got planned to do the up travel on the front we've uh, we've done our measurements there and the bump stops definitely hitting so that, that tire is not going up any further, which is good when you've got the 37s. Plus I worked it out so that uh, the shock doesn't bottom out. So we've got 5, 8 mil of shaft there and we're on the bump stop, so that's perfect. The front right, it's out pretty far. I think there's probably a little bit more in the shock there. It's still on the ground. The brake line's not, uh, not stopping us. The front shaft, still plenty of spline. And the interesting one is the back, the up travel now. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm getting a lot more. That leaf, because it's longer, it's throwing that shackle back further. And it's pretty much flat. So this is what these trail tests are for. Now, I've got about 10 mil clearance between the edge of that 35 and the chassis. Now the, the 37 is just gonna be smashing against that. These are pretty much the same offset rim, but the, the 37s have got much more um, aggressive sidewalls. So that's something to consider. 
and this is probably why people do the IFS rears um, while they're doing this sort of mod. But you're right, we didn't come out here to play on rocks. This is an absolute gem of a hill climb. Now I ask myself three things. Have I got a second car here? No. <laughs> do I have time to recover myself? No. Do I have the right tyres? No. But, people know me know that I just can't say no. So there's another no. No. Let's get up this thing. So earlier in the clip I said, leather tyres down to 16, because I won't be doing anything difficult. Well, this is difficult, especially with those little things to get up there. It will be a mission and a half on traps, I guess. So we'll lay down a bit more. to try and use that front locker to pull that front around. The back's resting on a tree so I'm safe. Sorry about that, just looking for a stick just to get this little bloke. Anyway, see how we go. Stopping and starting to get in now. Throws the fluency out. <laughs> So the Roadrunner 6 horsepower winch, it's a cracker. I've got it set up uh, with a controller indoors. And when I'm by myself, like a silly goose, I can use the, um, the, the remote control. So we just undo it from here and plug the controller in. So we've got it paired up to the hand remote. And now we can just physically walk it out. Okay, now I have got it on the winch. However, I am still gonna try and drive it once I stop leaning on that tree, that tree's stopping me sliding across. And then with this right wheel needs to come down into this hole before I can then be square. And that's a big hole. That's a big hole on treps. So see how we go.
crazy. One last climb and we're out.